Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I am going to be doing a dupe video and today what we are going to be putting to the test and what we're going to be comparing and talking and talking about is the Tarte Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. And if you are not familiar with this particular palette, this is what it looks like when you open it up. And today we're going to be comparing it to this palette right here, which is the Amazonian Clay 20 color eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. This palette right here is an exact dupe for the Tarte Amazonian Clay palette. It's a dupe, it's a knockoff, it's, a, it's an exact copy, whatever verbiage you want to use. These are the exact same palette. So we're going to do an eye test. We are going to swatch it and I'm going to tell you what I think about both of the palettes. And yeah, basically that is what we have in store for today's video. So if you are not new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do not mind, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below before you head out. So I do have several more of these dupe style videos coming very soon. And if you are not familiar with my channel, I do a bunch of haul videos. I have reviews. I have a ton of holiday 2017 videos as well. So I will leave some videos down below. I will leave some playlists down below if you want to check them out. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to comparing these two particular eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to make this eye my tart eye. And then we're going to make this eye the, um, the basically the dupe eye. So tart eye, dupe eye. I'm going to go in with the shade Chic from the Tarte palette. I'm going to go in with my color switch with this shade Chic from the Amazonian Clay palette. Now we're going to go in with the shade Innocent and then I'm just going to go ahead and show you they look identical. This is the shade Innocent from the other dupe palette. Then I'm going to go in with Whimsy from both palettes. And then this is Whimsy in the Amazonian Clay palette. Right there. I'm going to take Whimsy underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Edgy. This is the Tarte palette. And this is Edgy in the Amazonian Clay palette. Also going to run that on the lower lash line. All right, so in both of the palettes, we're going to take the shade Glam all over the lid. For the shimmer shades, I do have a two different MAC 242 brushes. And we're gonna do, we're gonna apply that directly to the lid. So I'm taking Tarte's Glam first. And then on the other brush, All 
All right, so let's go ahead and get some basics out of the way. So I purchased the Tarte Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette from Sephora. I wanna say I probably purchased this about a year ago. And recently one of you guys left out in the comments for me talking to, telling me about the Shop Hush website. So I went out to the website and like two days later, I saw this guy and immediately I thought to myself, that looks exactly like the Tarte Tardis Pro palette. So I went ahead and picked it up. Now this retails for, I believe it was $14. This retails for $53 and they are identical. When I say identical, they look exactly the same, the exact same color layout, the exact same everything. Even the names on the dupe palette are the exact same as the names on the Tarte palette. So the only difference that you're gonna be getting as far as the layout of the palette, of course, the Tarte palette has a lot more substantial packaging. It is more weighted. The mirror is also better on the Tarte palette as well. The mirror on the Tarte palette will stand up. So if you wanted to do your makeup using this palette straight up, you definitely can. If you wanted to sit it down on your vanity, you definitely can. I do prefer, I do also prefer the packaging on the Tarte palette, black gold, super sleek. Whereas this one is just a little bit more colorful. It has some random girl's face on the front of it. I'm gonna just gonna show you the packaging on each. And then on the back. And then when you open it up. And then this is the dupe palette. The back. Now, $14 versus $53, even though I do prefer the packaging on Tarte, packaging isn't everything. It helps, but I definitely think that if I saw these two right next to each other side by side, I would naturally, my eye would go here first because I just prefer the packaging of this. As far as where these can be purchased, I purchased this directly from Sephora's website. I purchased this from Shop Hush. If you are not familiar with Shop Hush, basically what it is, it's a, it's a website and I definitely recommend that you download the app itself because on the Shop Hush, because on the Shop Hush app um, from the Play Store, from the App Store, they actually give you free shipping. Whereas on the website, if you purchase from their website directly, they give you free ship free shipping on orders over $25. So basically this website is just 100% a dupe website. So much of their stuff on there is dupe. There are other dupes on that website that are similar in colors, but the layouts and the, the layouts aren't identical as they are on this one. And then there are other ones where it's kind of like, okay i knew exactly what you were doing this isn't even a kind of sort of maybe possibly like y'all straight up or copying a different brand when i say copying not only the layout not only the colors but even the names of the eyeshadows are exactly the same in both palettes i will definitely go ahead and put it out there for you I was surprised by the quality of this. Applying them to the eyes, they perform almost exactly the same. As far as the mattes are concerned, I will definitely say that I do think that a couple of the shimmer, the more metallics, perform a little bit better out of the Tarte palette than in this one, in just my opinion. The mattes, let's see if you will be able to see this. The mattes almost apply the exact same amount of kick up in both palettes. I don't know if you can see that right there. I don't mind a little bit of fallout. I had no fallout while applying my eyeshadow. And, but you can kind of see they definitely do have a little bit of powder kick up, both of them do. I would say that it's pretty similar, but if I had to be super nitpicky, the Shop Hush one has a little bit more powder kick up than the Tarte palette. I will also say that the Tarte, as far as the metallics, they feel exactly the same, buttery, smooth. But the Tarte ones upon swatching definitely are a little bit more high impact. They definitely have a little bit more shine, a little bit more, I feel like they have a little bit more happening with their actual metallics and their high shine eyeshadows, whereas the mattes perform identically. And I would even go as far to say that some of the mattes in here, especially the shade Mod, for example, in the Amazonian Clay palette, it feels a lot smoother and a lot less rough. However, with that being said, I would say that the Tarte palette is more of a one swipe and done, and the color pigmentation is automatically there. It might, on a couple of these shades in this particular palette, it might take two layers to get that full opacity, whereas in this one, it was a more one and done situation, but that wasn't all of the shades. I'm gonna do up close swatches of all of the different shades, but just so you guys can get an idea of what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and take the sham, let's go ahead and take the shade Minx, which is one of my favorite shades in the palette. 
and we're just gonna swatch it. So that is what Minx looks like from the Tarte palette. Let's go ahead and take Minx from the Amazonian Clay palette. So that is the Minx from the Amazonian Clay. That's the Minx from the Tarte. So, and there they are swatched. When you swatch the actual eyeshadows, the Tarte eyeshadows swatch a little bit better in the sense of you can just get one swipe and be done. But on the Amazonian Clay palette, it takes sometimes maybe two swatches to get the exact same color payout. And there are a couple instances in certain shades. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. The Tarte one does have a little bit more reflectiveness and it does have a little bit more of a high shine. Whereas the one from the Amazonian Clay, even though the colors are pretty similar, they look a little bit different because the Tarte one is giving you more of a definite high shine. I'm wearing the shade Glam on my lids right now. So let me go ahead and swatch Glam. So this is from the Amazonian Clay palette. And then let's go ahead and swatch Glam from the Tarte palette. So Tarte palette, Amazonian Clay palette. You can see right here, the Tarte ones definitely, now, these shades to me are a little bit different on the eye if you look super close you can kind of tell that they're a little bit of a different shade but when you pack it on enough like if i go in with another layer of the amazonian clay you can kind of build it up a little bit more but you can definitely see this is the tart one here the Tarte one, again, provides a lot, a little bit more high shine, but the mattes, honestly, surprisingly, perform very similar. Um, let me go ahead and grab matte. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll take, we'll take a color I didn't use today. So let's go ahead and take Mod. So this is Mod from the Tarte palette, and this is Mod from the Amazonian Clay palette. This is the Tarte eyeshadow here. This is the Amazonian Clay eyeshadow right here. So one thing that I will say, and as far as swatching, you can almost see that there's almost no difference when they're swatched, but to the touch, dupe palette actually, the mattes actually feel a little bit softer than the ones in the Tarte palette. So just a couple more things that I quickly want to take note of when talking about these two particular palettes. This is the third time that I am wearing the eyeshadows. I have not tried all of the ones in the 
one that I picked up from Shop Hush, but over time I have worn every single eyeshadow in this particular palette because I've had this palette probably for like a year. So one thing that I will say as far as the longevity and how they wore on the eyes, they wore almost the same. I used the exact same primer on both eyes. I used the exact same brushes. I just kind of went in with my color switch in between colors to kind of go back and forth between the eyes. Um, I did not notice a difference in blending, blendability, ease of use, like I've already mentioned. I don't care how hard you try to tell, you could not tell which palette I used on which eye. If you want to come out with an exact copy, dupe, replica, whatever, knockoff of somebody else's products, if you're going to do that, at least make sure the quality is somewhat similar. And I definitely think that it is. Now, I don't know ingredients. I didn't look at ingredients because this particular palette has the ingredients on the back of the palette. This one doesn't. So I'm not exactly sure and I should have looked at that first to see how similar or how different they are. Maybe I'll list it down below if you guys are curious. I definitely say shop hush, keep it up, save us some money, keep releasing some of the top eyeshadow palettes on the market. Of course the companies that are making like exact dupes of products can't release them really quickly. I mean this palette released over a year ago and they're just now coming out with the dupe. So that's the only downside for me is that chances are if it's a big enough palette, a hot enough palette, a palette that people are talking about enough, I will have already purchased the original. So I don't necessarily need two exact eyeshadow palettes in my collection. But for the purposes of YouTube, for the purposes of these videos, I definitely have no issues buying both of them, especially for the price. I mean, they have palettes as low as eight dollars on their website so I definitely recommend checking it out whether you're on a budget or not it's worth looking at save yourself some money pick up if you're interested in so many different eyeshadow palettes go ahead and take a look they have dupes for Urban Decay they have dupes for Huda Beauty they have dupes for Lorac they have dupes so many dupes they have a face palette dupes highlighter dupes like they are cornering the market on releasing quality quality dupes now i have a couple of more eyeshadows that i'm currently playing with and testing and a couple more face palettes i'm going to test one or two times before i bring you guys the videos but be on the lookout for it subscribe down below if you're interested in seeing all the hot stuff to come the next palette i am so excited to bring you that palette should have already been here but they messed up my order so I kind of had to put that one on hold. So subscribe down below because hopefully that one will be up next week. And that palette, I cannot wait. I, I cannot wait to talk about that palette on my channel. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you did enjoy this video. I don't too often do dupe videos on my channel. Earlier on in my channel, I did a, I was doing a series called Luxury Steep versus Drugstore Cheap or something like that. That was like almost two years ago. And I kind of didn't keep up with it, but now I'm kind of reviving it with this type of situation. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.